Given the follow me prescription by Paul in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 16 as part of the solution to the Corinthian problem, Paul also addresses the importance of the unique content of the message given him by the glorified and risen Lord to give to the church, which is his body. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 37 to 38. I never cease to be amazed at how I read the above verses again and again and never seized upon what was being said. This is always the case when we view the scriptures through the instruction of men denominationalism, instead of by the leading of the Spirit and studying to rightly divide. Let's look at this, rightly divided. Paul here says, regarding the others that were apparently trying to lead and teach the Corinthian believers, that before any of these men were allowed to teach that they should first acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. In other words, before these would try to teach the Corinthians about the word of God, they should first clearly acknowledge that Paul's writings and teachings were the word of God. This was the second part of the two-part solution for the Corinthian problem. Number 1. Paul is your apostle. And number 2. Christ's message through Paul is your message, direct from God. You will note that the scriptures contain 13 epistles, inspired by the Spirit and written by Paul. And these writings are God's word, written specifically to and for the body of Christ in this dispensation of the grace of God. And just as the Lord instructs through Paul for those that would be teachers to the Corinthians, so does he also instruct those members of the body of Christ who are living and serving as ambassadors for Christ today. And that instruction is that the teacher and preacher, as well as the hearer of the word, should and must acknowledge the writings of Paul as the commandments of the Lord. And Paul's closing comment as regards teachers of the word and the message Paul was given by the Lord to give to the body of Christ is quite blunt. Essentially, those that refuse to acknowledge and correctly teach the rightly divided message given through the Apostle Paul are told, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. And sadly, since the time of the Lord's communication of this message through Paul to the body of Christ, there has been a steady increase of any man folks that have chosen to be ignorant. Given the problems in the modern church and its many sects, denominations, etc. today, one can readily observe that the two-part Corinthian solution is still what is desperately needed to be clearly taught and understood. Believer, know your Apostle Paul and acknowledge and study what the Lord communicated to you through his inspired writings Romans through Philemon, rightly divided.